Hello, I'm John Joe, and welcome to Lime Ward. Today, we're going to be doing it a little different. I actually want to try and use the free roaming camera for the entirety of the replay. Now, Lime Ward isn't usually sort of designed like this. You have a above view sort of view, and you draw lines to control your armies against territories that you can't see in the free view camera. But I thought we'd try it. This is in times two mode, and blue and pink have started right next to each other. This is a free-for-all between five players. So, these two are fighting it out right at the beginning of the game. So, they're going to be... It looks like Blue is using some air units, or is going to be soon, to try and turn the tide of this battle. So, he's retreating his infantry in this engagement. But let's go have a look at how our other players are doing. There might be some other battles going on. Red is over here, just across the ocean. And they're building up some eco. They've got... Air units, some ground structures, and they've got some eco going. They've got this nice little choke point here, but that is a bit of a contested area. They may go for the city that's on this island over there after they built some industry. Light blue is over here. I'm not giving the names out of the people in this just because it's going to be hard for me to remember them. I can't see them in the free roaming camera. And they're building quite a big force, which is going to sweep across the land over here straight towards red. And the last player on the list is on this sort of triangular area where these three players will engage, where we've got a lot of barracks sending out to try and gather the territories. There's quite a bit of territory here to go through and a bit of slow moving areas, but they're going to take a while to get into it. So let's go back over to these two. We do already have a helicopter on the field from, uh, from blue, and that is going to take out some of these artillery, which is allowing their army to move really fast forward. They have switched into SAM units, which will take out these helicopters, but unfortunately, I don't think they're going to come out in time. By the time that SAM came out, that helicopter's just about to get away, and he's decided to come back into it. That is not a good place to land, but he does it anyway, that's fine. But these artillery units are pushing through. I think they're on a blue line command, which means they're going to focus on movement at first, just so that they could all get in there. But it did mean he lost his helicopters for that. He does have another one there. So there's a new one on the field. This isn't going to be too problematic for Blue. They will get some more out there. On the bright side though, Pink is not yet out of the game. They do have a town over here. And they're going to start building in that forest there. I don't know if there's a way to go directly up in this. It doesn't look like it. I can still toggle Fog of War. I did not know that. But blue is also expanding that way and building some structures over there. So blue is going to sweep out these structures just here. And that will be fine for a bit. And there we go. We've got the navy yard coming out for red, who is going to cut across the water here. With quite a few infantry units. Maybe they should have gone this way, especially with light blue pushing their units through here, which red has refused to engage with. They are running away. But this is quite the army, and if you notice, there's a couple of commandos just here. So, yeah, they are mixed in with infantry, so some of this army is actually stout to red. And I've noticed my cursor is on the thing, and I can't seem to get rid of it. I think I'm going to have to switch. If I switch like that, there we go, it's gone now. But yellow is also coming up through here, so light blue and yellow are going to meet in this middle section, potentially. And red... Could just watch the battle in that choke point or they could try and push through against blue but i'm going to quickly go over here because there's a lot of action happening against blue and pink generally speaking so pink has survived they've got quite a few structures back up and ready four barracks by the looks of it and one factory hiding away in the forest but blue will spot them over here i think they can already see them anyway in fact, they've got a bomber out already, and that bomber is going for that town. And Pink can pretty much do nothing about that right now. I say that just as I see what I think is a SAM unit. Yep. The SAM unit is taking on that bomber. He'll probably be able to take it out if left to his own devices. And that bomber doesn't retreat, which he is doing. He called them back because both of them are coming out. Actually, no, he didn't. He ran out of energy. See the black smoke? Coming out of that bomber, that means he's ran out of energy, which he doesn't actually seem to have an energy while here. There's an available slot there for him, but he's decided to wait for that. 
So the artillery are pushing through. They're attacking the eco. There's a town that's under pressure. We're getting a lot of production structures out here from Pink. Pink might actually be able to push back if they can defend from this force coming into the forest here. Red has gone on for a push using the helicopters against Light Blue. Now Light Blue definitely has the numbers advantage in this scene. But with mostly artillery in this section here as the infantry come out of the forest. They're actually getting destroyed by these artillery. Infantry have a defensive bonus in the forest. So this is a good place to have the infantry. But the helicopters are going to literally plow through them. They can go down as you can see from enough of them. But they're really not very effective against helicopters. Even with the bonus from the forest. So Light Blue's got a lot of production there. They're building up some more as they go forward. And they do have to defend this town now. These artillery are in a position where they could potentially take that town out. Or at least pressure it. Especially if backed up by helicopters. But Blue is putting a lot of pressure into this choke point soon. So if Red doesn't defend this area, they're going to be able to push through that whole area. And that will become a choke point where Blue can hold them off. Over here though, Pink is still under pressure. They've lost the town. And Blue is pushing across. Literally sweeping the land as units are retreating into other units from Blue. Blue is completely surrounding Pink at this point. Or Purple. As you can see from the above ground view, we've got units coming in from the north. I say north, I have no idea what orientation I am right now. From that section over there, I actually think that's the south. And from this section, but yellow has decided to push through here. They've got a couple of posts here for units <coughs> that are keeping an eye on what's happening over that way, or at least making sure they're not getting attacked. But blue feels like they've got a really good advantage right now against pink or purple. But yellow is now going to put the pressure on blue and potentially pink if blue can't defend them. So blue's got that really weird decision to make on whether they should kill off purple or try and defend against this army that's pushing through right now. The <coughs> so red is now defending this choke point. It will make it easier as all the units funnel through in one location and the helicopter support. It doesn't look like this player has gone for any air units. I can hear that beeping. That means someone left. Purple has left the game. They gave in the white flag. Now blue literally only has to focus on yellow. And with a lot of units coming out of this forest. And most of yellow's units going straight into these artillery. It looks like blue's actually going to be able to pressure yellow out of this area quite quickly. Light blue over here is struggling to get through this choke point And has... Start building some factories in the forest right next to it. This will help get units on the front lines faster. But I'd say that's really close. And I would say vulnerable to helicopters. But I think they know this. And they've put Sam's in the forest there. Just to protect it if they get spotted. Red's got some units in the ocean now. They've got quite a small navy. But they don't need too much. They're just grabbing some territories. But they could actually cross the water as well. Yellow has retreated from this area. They are just going to give it up for a little bit. And yellow still has some units over in that section there. I'm not sure what's going on. I think blue's giving in a chase here. And we've got the bombers coming in straight for this group of units. Looks like yellow's building up units once again to push further through as a stronger force against a lot of this artillery and yellow does have some anti-air it's not enough not against these bombers but if the bombers don't target the sam units then they'll be fine and blue will have to retreat or lose these bombers luckily it does survive but yellow's got a nice formation here where they're surrounding this choke point. Blue is now trapped. Unless they can build a navy yard or get commandos out somehow. But it doesn't look like light blue is interested in going south nor red. And yellow doesn't want to go further north. 
So it's literally a 1v1 happening right next to another 1v1. <clears throat> a blue player is building up some defences here. They're getting their fortifications up. So they're not willing to move forward for a little while. Yellow, on the other hand, actually has quite a lot of air units. And it looks like they've been building those up for a while. They've seen the fortifications and lack of anti-air by the looks of it. And they're sending in the strikers to do as much damage as they can. And the longer they keep that up, the more money it's just going to cost blue until they actually get some air defense. Over here, Red's not only managed to defend this area without losing the town by the looks of it, they're actually pushing back. They've managed to take out the Samunas, or at least some of them. They're being pulled back a little, but the helicopters are moving in and they're going to try and take out the rest of the Sam before they go for the structures. I should probably look from this direction so I can keep an eye on what's going on over in there. It looks like yellow is sending some units towards this location. Having a quick look around. Don't think they're dedicating too much to going forward there. But red is actually pushing light blue here. And light blue is still trying to build structures. But that's a bit too close to the front line as they're being constructed. And structures in front of them are going down. I don't think that's actually going to produce much. If red continues this push. But I am wondering what yellow is going to do over there. He might push through. I honestly can't remember. But blue over here is. Desperately trying to defend this location. Using what they have. They are still producing anti-air from the. Um furthest parts of their production but the amount of helicopters we've got here they're going to need a lot of SAM units to try and push through but they can't keep up on the ground yet so it looks like light blue is retreating into this forest here to try and protect what production they have there because they really want to keep this town for the extra eco Getting a bit too close to the ground. Wait. We've got a rocket silo from yellow here. And it is about one third of the way producing a rocket. And I can tell exactly what that's going to be trying to hit. But it doesn't look like yellow actually wanted to go too far forward. They just kept looking forward. They can see a battle going on. I think they're just watching. Having full control over this section of the map does give them an advantage of knowing when to push and when not to. So they are just taking their time. Blue is checking the oceans. I think they found that red has unit. I can see some motion going on over here. They've got a navy yard of their own. And they're trying to send some units across here. Helicopters have been forced to defend. Because this city is very vulnerable from this type of attack right now. But there is a few red units in the forest here. So they could actually help defend. But the amount of helicopters Red has, this won't take too much to defend with. But they are trying to push Light Blue over here. Which now doesn't have any helicopters. And these SAM units are going to build up. Which means when the helicopters come back, they're going to have a lot of anti-air to deal with. And Light Blue is actually putting the pressure on against Red once again. This is a bit of a back and forth in the north over here. Whereas blue player down here is trying to get the bombers to reach in this area, but it's just not quite far enough. They're going to bring them back now anyway, but they do have a bit of a navy. And their rockets just come in. It's taken out the defenses over here. Pretty much everything goes down and yellow's going to push through with what looks to be everything they have. And that is an overwhelming force pushing through against blue here. They have loads of artillery on the front line. And when blue manages to respond, infantry is going to flood through that. But what's going on over here? There's a lot of artillery and a lot of infantry 
fighting each other. So the infantry are providing meat, sheets, uh, meat shields for the artillery here, but there's not that many infantry getting through. Being in the forest, though, all infantry units are getting a bonus to defence and attack. So it is making it a bit harder for light blue to get through in this section. And at this point, yellow's forces are slowly trying to squeeze through this gap. And blue ends up retreating. They're not trying to hold him off here. He wants to go back into the forest by the looks of it. And they do have another airfield going where they've got a helicopter. They've got the energy they need. And they do have some bombers with an extra helicopter there. If they move the helicopter, they get that extra bomber that's already done out on that field as well. Let's have a look. There's some explosions going on over in this section. Looks like some production structure was destroyed. That or was just pieces of... Ah, it's helicopters going down. That's what that is. Pieces of helicopters flying all over the place. Not in the way they're meant to be doing. <laughs> But we do have a decent amount of SAM units here from both teams. And I think Red's not willing to send out the helicopters just yet. He's trying to sneak some commandos in around the back because they're not so easy to spot. And they were just trying to get into the back there. The helicopters have moved in so the SAM are moving forward. But these ones are moving directly into the firing lines of artillery. Which means they're not going to last long there. And these helicopters are more than strong enough to take them out as they were. That's actually a lot more than I thought there was. Let's have a quick look back over here. Yellow's still got a defensive line. And the strikers have moved in. How are they reaching that far? Can't really tell where they are. Oh, there's airfields over there. Airstrips. There's a defensive line of mostly infantry here, which is actually really good because it's the forest. But when the artillery move into place, the defensive bonus won't matter too much. It'll just take longer to kill them. And Yellow's forces are coming around this section over here. So they're pretty much splitting up into two fronts here. And the Sam are following. So they are able to take out these bombers as well. I think Blue is going to have a hard time defending, but they're going to do their best. They've got quite a few defensive lines. Sacrificing some structures where they know they need to because they just can't get through. If Yellow got a navy. Okay, so Yellow has two cruisers in this section. I think they're mostly grabbing territory. But they could be beneficial if they brought them up to this fight here, especially with the defences there. We could bring them around over here and try and take on some artillery. But I don't think they're going to do that. I think they're going to continue capturing territories. Over in this section, red versus blue, light blue, is going really badly for light blue, who is now trying to do a hedgehog type of defense in the forest here in front of his forward production. He's got some production back here. <coughs> but as red comes in, it would be a lot harder to try and defend this entire area. So they're going to try and make this last little... Last stand, I think, is what's going on here. Let's have a, a bit more of a closer view at the soldiers' perspective here. They've got this army moving in. And they must protect these structures. But commandos are on their way around. They've got their own little mission. I don't know what it is. But they know what they're doing. I think they're grabbing some territory as they keep stopping. Or they're just keeping an eye out on what's going on. They've got two groups of commandos on either side. And for some reason, we've got the Sams up front. I think he's expecting an attack from helicopters first. That or it might have been just a misclick. But Red is going to keep pushing through there. And as Red is succeeding against Light Blue, Yellow is also succeeding against Blue. So it's not a good day to be Blue in this game. The Bombers are taking any chance they get to take on some... Artillery units try and take them out as best they can. I think even with the extended range having the airfields put there, that's not enough for the strikers to reach this far. 
And we now have four cruisers in this little lake over here, which could come round and try and do some extra damage. I think if they've got that many cruisers in the same place, they've probably taken the territories over and they've just been forgotten about. Over here, though, the defense in the forest has fallen. And it looks like the black line still set up as this artillery is still trying to move into place before firing. And this one's just continuing to move. They found the sand units, but he's not going to survive much longer. I think actually that's yellow's our, uh, defensive line. So yellow's built a defense on this section. I assume hoping for this army to push around to the side here. And this is kind of an awkward angle to look at. But light blue on the other hand is trying to push back. They've got quite a lot of forces here. And they've taken them away from the defense. And they're going to push through the sides. This looks like they funneled the enemy through the middle. And they're trying to come around the sides with the infantry. Because infantry would be faster than the artillery. Keeping the SAM units at the back line. It's actually kind of good position in here. Oh, and light blue has gone. And I think there's a message. And I can't move. So we're just going to some reason I can't there we go back into third mode so the strikers have got more landing spaces over here now the airfield groups over there but it looked like some strikers just went down for like no reason oh they got rid of the airfields over here but only built two there was three airfields before so they lost five strikers there that wasn't very smart unfortunately but then we've got these units moving around there and they're going to push up that way and they're just going to capture the territories over there so over here blues tactics although were great it looks like they managed to actually push back quite well considering the forces they had but you've got to remember blue only well light blue only has this section of the map left over red has this section a couple of towns, another town with a dock that could be a city, it's got enough industry, and a city there with docks and industry, and he was holding him back. And I would say that was mostly because of his positioning and the way he tried to move his units around, surrounding the enemy in that one attack. The only reason he lost that battle was the amount of reinforcements coming in at a constant rate, as you can see through this side here, which is pretty much just funneling through the entire area. But unfortunately, he's given up now. He is now out of the game. This is now red versus yellow. And yellow is pushing through. We've got to remember, yellow has a nuke. Did he get rid of it? No, there is the nuke. It's still there. And it's ready. Ready to be fired. There's another one over there as well. <laughs> so we're going to have a few nukes play out in this game. Red's got a nuke as well in the far side of the map. So they're going to cover this section quite nicely as yellow is pushing a huge army through this section but it does lack anti-air where's the anti-air gone they did have oh there's a rocket coming through the helicopters are coming through taking out some units and they did survive the nuke i thought they were going to die then it's just my perspective <laughs> and i think the sam units have been forgotten about are they lying around somewhere no i just think they're over there still probably yeah that Sam units have been left behind from the previous attack. Red's firing their rocket now. Coming in for this group here by the looks of it. And it takes out the majority of those forces. But now that the helicopters are doing their damage, there's a lot of helicopters here for Red. And yellow does have enough units, but those sand units are lagging behind a little bit. I think for red, these helicopters are going to pretty much do a lot of the work here. With the amount they've got, they could probably take out any sand units if they stray in. As you can see, they're sort of straying in from this section. They've stopped. Okay. Okay. So yellow is retreating their forces. 
Probably because of the helicopter, which has given Red a bit of a confidence boost. They're pushing forward now. So Red's going to move forward while taking some territories. Yellow is just building up their forces in a couple of locations. We've got a lot of SAM units now. I think it was the lack of SAM units that made them retreat there. And the helicopters are going to push forward first. And Yellow is retreating most units once again. They're letting that industry go. And Red still has some units down that way. They could probably bring those down this way into the fight. Or at least as backups. And Red is slowly pressing forward. It looks like this might be a, a striker's attack coming in through this section now. Let's have a closer look. The strikers. There's a lot of strikers now. And they're coming in from two different directions. We've got the air strips over there and the air fields from the left. They came in and pretty much decimated this force on the left side. But they couldn't quite get the damage in on the right side. And these Samulets are actually out of position there. They are being called back by the looks of it, but not fast enough. Some are going to go down from that. Another industry is going to go down for Yellow. But Yellow is actually starting to press forward now. They've got their forces in position and they're going to push forward now. They've, there's two rockets there as well. There's one, two. A third one there. It looks like I just fired as well. So these units are all moving forward at the same time now. The rocket's coming in on this side because that's the where the, most of the forces are. It's going to take out those guys. I assume the next one's going to fire here. Yep. Yeah. Where's this one going to go for? It's going for the energy well. There's a lot of helicopters moving into this section. Trying to take out the artillery. And there's a rocket on that side as well going off. Rocket hits Red's base directly. Right in the mountains. It does only take out one airfield though. Not, not anymore. And Red's got some commando units coming in through here by the looks of it. But Yellow still has quite a sizable force there as well. And I think... Think there was a little attack over there but I think they gave up on it those commandos are going to go for that town but I think they will get destroyed eventually and now yellow's forces are going to push through the middle once again I feel like I can hear a rocket yeah there's another one that's the third rocket so they haven't all recharged yet which means red's probably isn't oh it is ready actually red's firing his rocket down this way Straight into the middle of this mass of units. This is a choke point, but only if you've got enough rockets, I think. <laughs> the helicopters are coming on this side. They've spotted a bit of a weakness there with the lack of anti-air, or at least they couldn't see that the anti-air was moving in. And the helicopters are going to tear up a few of these artillery units, but the SAMs have spotted them. They're going to draw some out and take them down. But it looks like Red has given up the game. Yellow has won that game. And I'm going to avoid the results so that you can't see who's actually playing. So thank you for watching. Let me know, did you like the free view camera or would you like me to go back to normal? I don't plan to do either one permanently. I just kind of like to mix it up a little. Maybe I'll do this one rarely, but sometimes I just kind of like the idea of doing it for an entire match. So let me know what you think in the comments. And wow, there's two videos on screen right now. So feel free to click on one of those and I'll see you there.